Hey there, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer. Today we're back with another 10 minute taste up. We're over on the PC, we're playing Dark Envoy, which is an isometric RPG that I've never played before. So we're gonna jump into this new game to see what it's all about. So, what are we doing? Edit Kayla or edit Malachi? Let's go with edit Kayla. Striking art, to be fair. Very cool. Right, okay, so face one, face two, face three, or face four. Face one, skin colour. Go. Eyebrows. Eye colour. There we go. Makeup type. Let's go with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, green. That's cool. Go with this kind of. That one. Gars. That one. War paint. Uh, that's quite cool. And then we could go with making it brighter, maybe the green. Pretty good. Yeah, okay, so you wanna go class, warrior, ranger, engineer, or adept. Right, so I will go with a bit of magic over here. What's this? Elementalist, traditional mage who manages perfect balance. Combat medic, sorcerer that harnesses the powers of both life and death. Their mere presence can encourage and grant vitality, allowing allies to reject their own limitations. Summon a druidic, druidic adept who uses their bond with spirits to summon them onto the battlefield. As a last resort, they can become a living vessel, turning the body into a mighty colossus. That sounds interesting. Okay, right, so. What's next? Attributes. We are going with. I've got five to. What's might? Every weapon skill plus one level. Movement speed, dodge, movement speed, dodge, cooldown, reduction, attack speed, max health, tenacity, weight, capacity, power, max mana. Right, let's go with that. Oh, does that? Oh, right, okay. So those are my points there. Sorry, I thought these were the points on the side, but they're not, are they? So, so let's go with that. Five on that. Mastery. Six there. Might. Two of that. And then speed, actually. One of that. And then speed in there. Right, okay. That's... Uh, Done and dirty. Right, we're going again. Then we go equipment. Basic clothes, basic gloves, caster set, basic gloves. I'm not sure what it wants me to do here. Assuming I've got everything that. Oh, can I add these? Wow, that's cool. Oh, I see, right. Okay, caster, battle mage, scryer, monk. What do I like the look of best? Battle mage, that's pretty good. Okay, we go again. And we go into summary. Oh, can I edit Malachi as well? Okay. Yeah, to do. Oh, you have to keep the same haircuts, basically. Let's go with green. Come on, 
red, orange, and let's go green there. Go green across across the board. Alright. There we go. Good one. Good one. Like that. And like that. Right. We're good. Class, he can be a warrior. Good lad. And he's going to go might, speed, endurance. And he'll go berserker. Oh, that's quite cool. I think I like the protector one yet. Go with that. Right, now we are ready. Difficulty. Well, I'll go with uh, normal. Experience RPG. Easy. Less punishing sort of newcomers to RPG. Let's go with the easy, just as the sake of the 10 minute taster. And we'll go from there. Right, so. Somewhere in the desert, we emerge from the familiar nothingness, ordered to make this foreign place our new home. It belongs as much to us as it does to them. Oh yeah, brother. Loading in. Still loading in. So this is a demo, actually. So it's not the full finished product to bear that in mind John is as remarkable as any world filled with mystery and magic quite remarkable indeed many centuries have passed since the first humans settled here they all came from a faraway world elbowing their way through an already frail peace between the old races the elves shadows and cranites united in a government they call the League, kept these newcomers under close scrutiny. Though humans struggled to control the innate magic of this alien planet, they compensated for it with marvelous technology. Mana-fueled inventions became the foundation of a great empire. There was no end to their aspirations, which constantly incited the League's suspicion. Eventually, it could only mean war. War of ideas. War of principles. War to bring or halt the change. The conflict quickly escalated, threatening to bring an end to the world as they know it. Few places remain out of its reach. One such place is a settlement known only as the City of Bones, home to the unlikely heroes of this story. It sits safely in the desert, surrounded by nothing but sand and ruins left by the mysterious ancients. The world is more than just the Empire and the League, after all. There are things far greater, but also more terrifying than the war between them. That's what drives Malachi and Kayla to scour the ruins in search of knowledge and treasure. A pair of siblings as remarkable as the world they were born in. Quite remarkable indeed. They call themselves relic hunters, searching for the forgotten remnants of those who are long gone, hoping to learn from the past and keep whatever dangers they find safely buried under the sands. But they have a much greater destiny to fulfill. The gears of fate were put in motion long before they became pawns in this game. Right, here we go. <sighs> Whispering Sands. Not exactly my favorite place in the world. Don't complain, Mal. We're lucky to be away from this madness that spreads everywhere. That's true. Living at the edge of the world has its perks. Hey, but if you had to choose a side in the war, would you rather go with the League or the Empire? 
We know very little about their motives and agendas, so how would we decide that? I was just asking hypothetically. You don't have to take everything so seriously. But anyway, since we're here to check the entrance seals again, why don't we split up to cover the ground faster? All right, activity was reported by the northern entrance, so let's meet up near the ruins just in case. Right, okay. Camera movement. To move the camera, move the cursor to the screen's edge. Press the arrow keys. Hold the mouse button. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, hold Alt to rotate the camera. Yep. These controls can be changed in settings. All tutorials are stored in the codex tab of the player menu. Button to do it. Check on the first ruin entrance. Let's get going. After all and turn. What's this? Statue of the Ancients, many and one of the many remnants of their mysterious disappearance. Okay, looks as though I've got a scorpion to fight over there, so let's uh, move in. Any chance? Gotcha. Oh yeah, right click to move. Combat basics. To attack, click an enemy with the right mouse button. To use a skill, click on its icon or press the corresponding key bound. Read skill description to learn more. All enemies out of combat with detection range. When you move into it, you get spotted and combat starts. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that they will. Uh... Start. It's a bit weird that it's kind of slowing down and then. <clears throat> Am I going to attack him? Here we go. It's a bit too slow. Kind of real time combat, <clears throat> but slowed down. What's this one do? Let's get started. This is kind of weird, this. I'm not sure I agree with slowing everything down so much. I'm really struggling against two scorpions. So he's minus two me. I'm not really sure what's going on, if I'm honest. Can I use this one? Charge in the direction of dealing 40 damage and affliction. Right, one of these gonna go down or what? Slow tactical tab tactical space. Um, oh, I see. Pause. You can pause or go 12% slow. Pause tactical. Oh, okay. Right, some space. Right. So space comes out of it. HP bar. All changes to characters HP health points are represented on its HP bar. They, the grey part of an HP bar is a magic shield. A fraction of all the damage that exceeds your magic shield is converted into wounded HP. The red part of the bar is wounded HP. It doesn't regenerate. Can't restore using skills. Okay. Wounded HP, current HP, right, okay. Kind of get that. Right. Anything around here I've missed? No. Okay, so. Sure, why not? I don't need you to talk every time I tell you to go somewhere. That was interesting. Go there. Those things are so damn convenient. I just wish they worked for longer distances as Interact well. Interactive waypoints quickly returns previously explored locations. Okay, so it's a fast travel point. That's a map. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I can go down there. Let's go down here. Gotcha. See what's around. Okay, so I can go through here. A few more. Let's get going. Scorpions cover. Units receive 50 plus less cover from range attacks. Covers may break after blocking too many strikes. Units don't benefit from cover if they're engaged with melee combatants. Oh, I see. Look, I can gain cover there. But look, if he turns around, then I can go here. Sure, why not? Did he gain cover? Right, he's got cover. That looks like quicksand, yeah, it is. That's cool. Gotcha! So what we're saying here, tactical environment. Explosive cacti are a type of tactical environment. Hover over them to learn more. Keep an eye out for objects and areas you can use to gain advantage in combat. Tactical environments are highlighted in tactical mode. Okay. Block. There and attack this All guy. Right, we'll do it the hard way. And attack this twat as well. Can I attack it? Does that blow up? What am I doing? That's a good block. Oh, I think that blows. Does that do him as well. God, God knows what's going on. Right. Go this way. Q, can I use that? <laughs> Time to get our hands dirty. It's really uh <laughs> they don't stand a chance. Knock them out. Not really going down quick, is it? Right, so over there's more um, scorpions and stuff. That's just cover. Now let's go around here and have a look. Oh, there's another. Oh, it's a healing fountain. That's handy. So we could head that way. So if I head in here, I'm going to end up getting in there right. What is that? Let's get going. Yeah, that, that is. Right, let's go. They don't stand a chance. Well, that's got to be one down, isn't it? Yeah, one down and two down. Yes. Right. Anything to collect? Oh, dead body. The person was shot in the back, it appears. He was trying to run away from someone. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go here. <sighs> if this isn't one of those trusty old, or dare I say, ancient healing fountains. Healing fountains are the only means of restoring wounded HP. Each fountain can be used a limited number of times as indicated by the green bars. What green bars? Okay, unit of full health. Right, can I go through here then? Ooh, this is cool. Anything around here? That. Okay. Oh, look, that geezer looks decent. Can I kind of... Maneuver my way through sure, here. Why not? Go away getting through. Kind of chest. Everyone loves a chest. Six gold, one iron, and some basic leather boots. How do I get into my inventory? I yes I. Right, so I'm wearing basic boots two and five, and these are five and twelve. So they are better than these ones. Yeah. 
Right, so that's an upgrade. I like that. Uh, this so far looks really cool. I'm going to continue playing this, but I'm going to call a halt. The 10 minute taster. Oh, scavenger's note. Handwritten note of a poorly drawn portrait attached to it. Beware of this guy, he's a liar. Promised good deals. Gave us some counterfeit crap. Don't do business with him. Sadly, the portrait barely resembles a human to begin with. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the 10 minute taster. This has been a lot of brief introduction to this game but it's all intriguing and I like the way it's been put together so far so hopefully it delivers on the promise anyway until next time my friends you'll be leaving me looking at the temple entrance and seeing where I need to go next goodbye my friends